Hello everyone, this is Professor Keen. A dozen of the constellations hold a special place in human history. Astrologers have claimed that each person has a sign, so to speak, that corresponds to one of the 12 constellations. Personality traits and fortunes are said to be determined by a person's sign. I would only add that nowadays, personality traits and fortunes are said to be determined largely by a person's genetics. It's almost like the new astrology. I think the similarities are too hard to ignore. In any case, the astronomical basis for assigning the signs is simple. Since the stars move faster than the sun by two hours per month, about four minutes per day, a different constellation moves behind the sun each month. The constellation that is just about to move behind the sun on the day a human is born becomes that person's zodiac sign. The same 12 constellations take turns going behind the sun every year. They're called the zodiac constellations since many have animal names. We've already met six of them in our four stories, and they're shown on the following diagram. Here are the six zodiac constellations that we know so far. Orion is not counted here, notice, in the zodiac, because the sun technically passes over his head and not directly through him. Let's take a closer look at the zodiac constellations that we already know. Near Orion, you will find two zodiac constellations, Taurus and Gemini. The sun passes above Orion through the top of the bull's head and through the waists of the twins. In the Big Dipper's part of the sky, the sun passes through the lion and the virgin, making them part of the zodiac. The sun passes almost directly in front of Regulus, Leo's front foot, and just over the top of Spica, Virgo's bottom. Near the swan, the zodiac constellations are Scorpius and Sagittarius. The sun passes through the top claw of the scorpion and through the top of the archer's bow and head. There are also zodiac constellations near the last guidepost, Cassiopeia, but they have no bright stars and they are not easy to see. When the sun passes through this area of the sky, it goes right between the great square and the southern fish. The zodiac constellations between the great square and the southern fish are Aquarius, the water carrier, and Pisces, the fishes. Aquarius, the water carrier, is in the shape of a man running with a bucket. Some water spills out of the front of the bucket and streams down toward the mouth of the southern fish. The sun passes through the arm and front leg of Aquarius. You may see the stars that mark the neck, the waist, and the front bottom of the bucket. The rest of the stars are pretty dim. Pisces, the fishes, is represented by two fish caught on lines. None of the stars in Pisces are very bright, so this sprawling constellation is difficult to spot and not very satisfying. The sun passes near the joined ends of the fishing lines. Now we have eight zodiac constellations, two for each guidepost. Orion, the guidepost, has Taurus and Gemini. The Big Dipper has Leo and Virgo. The guidepost Cygnus has Scorpio and Sagittarius. And the guidepost Cassiopeia has Aquarius and Pisces. In order to have one for each of our 12 months, we need four more constellations. The next four just happen to fit nicely in the gaps between the pairs we already have. By the way, if you find this a bit overwhelming, please don't get overwhelmed. We'll have plenty of time to review this, and pretty soon you'll have this no problem. Here are the additional constellations of the zodiac that do not fit right in with the four guideposts. There's Cancer, the crab. He fits between Gemini and Leo. Cancer has no bright stars. Aries, the ram, fits between Pisces and Taurus. It has bright stars marking its nose and its neck. Capricorn, the goat, fits between Sagittarius and Aquarius. One bright star marks its horn tip. And Libra, the scales, fits between Virgo and Scorpio. It has bright stars marking the top of the balance and the top of one arm. This now concludes our journey through the zodiac constellations. We have seen the six constellations that we can see near three of our guidepost constellations. Orion has Gemini and Taurus. Big Dipper has Virgo and Leo. Cygnus has Sagittarius and Scorpio. Our fourth guidepost, Cassiopeia, has two constellations that are difficult to spot, Pisces and Aquarius. The constellation Cancer, Aries, Capricorn, and Libra filled in the spaces between our guideposts. We know that the stars that are just about to move behind the sun on the day you were born is your zodiac constellation. The next time someone asks you, what is your sign, you will be able to answer them with confidence.